Bakugan is based on the manga turned anime simply titled Bleach. It's all about fighting your way through hundreds of enemies and earning soul points. Think Dynasty Warriors but with way more style. And you're killing people that are already dead. It's formulaic simple fun that just might appeal to your inner button masher. What's your name, Soul Reaper? Captain Kenpachi Zaraki of the Eleven Squad. Don't worry about keeping up with the story in Bleach. There are enough titles and names here to fry your brain, so just remember that every stage pretty much goes the same way. Fight through the baddies, face a boss, and move on. It's the most basic setup you could hope for considering how crazy some of the pre-battle narration is. Seriously, listen to this guy. But the Sexta Espada, Grimjow Jaggerjack, secretly steals Orihime away to have her heal Ichigo's wounds. When it comes to the eye candy, there are a few flavors here. The character models and animations look beyond slick, and most of the weapon effects give Bleach an anime come alive feel. And while the backgrounds have an occasional personality, like big red pillars jutting into the sky, most of them are as bland as they come. The audio is forgettable, though I always issue a nod of respect to games with both English and Japanese voiceovers. They make crazy anime fans like me go SUGOI! Although combos are pretty easy to do, as in hit square a whole bunch, you can have way more fun with the combat in Bleach. You can charge each individual strike in a combo with some fancy timing, and you can usually launch enemies upwards and continue the pummeling in the sky. Each character also has a fairly unique special set of moves and handles a bit differently. For example, Ichigo has a pretty standard combo. Rukia, on the other hand, immobilizes her enemies mid-strike. Differences between the characters, as well as the fast-paced combos, keep combat and Bleach interesting. It would get old quickly if you weren't always pushing to earn soul points, which let you purchase upgrades for your characters. The upgrade system might remind you of the Sphere Grid from Final Fantasy X. Remember that action? Same thing here. Unlock adjacent icons on a grid to expand your powers. Keeping up a high combo streak helps earn you more soul points, which in turn banks you better upgrades. Despite its simplicity, it's rewarding, and the combat has just enough substance to keep you coming back. Unfortunately, there's little weight to the story, so you're really only fighting for the joy of fighting and powering up. There are extra missions outside of the story chapters, so that gives you more to plow through, but there's only so many empty environments and helpless baddies a man can take. I guess I'll give this Kendo thing another try. Bleach Soul Resurrection is pretty fun. Story-wise, I was lost from the first chapter, and this is coming from the guy that saw more than 50 episodes of the anime. But that's okay. I get a kick out of keeping up long combo chains and earning soul points, and there's plenty of that here. But be prepared to be doing just about the same thing the whole time. If you're down with the Bleach franchise and you like simple, fast-paced action, give Bleach Soul Resurrection a try. 